Hello everyone, my name is Sean and I'm here to basically deliver a bar that you can do in your home. Obviously due to this devastating coronavirus outbreak it's affected us all in many different ways but as a dancer one of the biggest things that's affected all of us as a community um, is that we our daily training or medicine for dance has changed so I think instead of stopping it a lot of us have come to home workouts and home bars um, and yeah I'm a bit late to the party but here is one I'd love to share with you that I've adapted a class that I teach um, sometimes at the Ballet Boys Studios and um, I thought I'd love to share it all with you so we can all be in this together and stay fit um, there are some people that I used to teach that I know would love this to keep it going because they've made such great progress so take it with a pinch of salt um, because obviously I've had to change a few things due to being in my conservatory. Um, obviously the first thing you can notice is that I'm lucky enough to have my own bar that I um, begged for for my 15th birthday. Um, but if you don't have this, um, it's absolutely not a problem. You can change it with a chair, um, a table. Just make sure it is this the right height for you because you don't want your arms too stretched away from you and you want to be in a comfortable, relaxed position with your arm to kind of replicate what you would be like if you were dancing in the centre. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and teach this bar and um, I'm going to do teach it, do the exercise both sides because I think it might be helpful even though I might be facing the back it means you can have the monitor in front of you and copy me like for like um, but also I'll face the monitor because I love the camera. Um, so yeah, our first exercise, if you face your bar or what you've um, used as your bar, sometimes I like to use my radiator but um, seems silly not to use this. And if you start with a rise on both feet, and this is what I like to call pony trots, you release your left leg and you go four of these, two, three, four. Release both and roll up the feet into a releve and then just reverse this motion all the way down opening out into a first position nice and relaxed because obviously you've been probably sat down for quite a lot of time so it's really important to warm up now more than ever we'll tondu the right leg front we'll flex and plie tondu and back to first we'll repeat this side flex and plie and tondu pardon me and close and then we'll get back to power and repeat on the left. So now we have our left going to relevate and we do our four pony chops. Three, four, and we roll up. Two, three, four, and we roll down. Two, three, four. Opening out to a first, we do tondu front. Flex and plie. Tondu and down. Tondu side, flex and plie. And tondu and down. And now we'll do the same pony tops, but we keep in first position. So we just release our right leg to a demi point and we go two, three, four. We roll up just like the parallel and first and roll from reverse that motion all the way down. We'll now tondu this back, flex and plie and tondu and side, and side flex and plie and tondu. Repeat this to the left. One, two, three, four, roll up, two, three, four, roll down, two, three, four. Tondu back, flex and plie, and tondu down, and side, flex and plie, tondu down. I have to say it's very bizarre teaching to a camera because I like to teach to people, but I'll give myself some energy. Um, so I'll play the music now and I'll do it with you on both sides. And four pony trots, two, three, four, and roll up. Yeah. 
this variation of the exercises, feel free to change things up um, because obviously you might not have enough room. And yes, bear with me because I'm not used to teaching in camera, but we've all got to help each other out. Um, plies. So we'll start with our left hand on what you're using as your bar. We'll do one demi plie and up. And second demi plie, opening the arms to second. We'll then take a small rise and we'll use our supporting arm to balance. And then we'll release into a grand plie all the way down. Then we'll do a forward pull de bras and up and tendu to second. In second we'll repeat the same sort of sequence, two demi plies opening out to side. We'll then balance, keeping the arms in second. Make sure you use this left arm to replicate your right arm so you're not squiffy with your torso. This will help you in centre when we get to centre. <laughs> Might do the bigger let me move. And then grand plie all the way down, follow your eye line with your arms. And this time the polygon goes over to fifth and reach over the bar. Here, be careful not to go two sides so that your ribs end up popping out and your weight goes back. Think of a line drawing slightly in forward in front of you and release. In fourth, we'll then go plie, tendu back, plie. Rond de chambre, plie, tendu forth, plie, rond de chambre. We'll then simply turn the legs in parallel and just really stretch over these legs. If you feel like your calves are really tight on this particular day that you're doing it, lift your heel, your toes off and stretch your calves. Then we'll tendu to fifth position and we'll take the same pattern as before, two demi plies, and here when we rise, Keep your toes where they are, just to give a nice balance and see if you can give your arms up to fifth and release down. We'll take a grand plie here. And then here, we'll take a long, full pour de bras where we go front, side, back, side. And I will stop the music before the left side and then we'll rise. I was going to say everyone okay with that, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hear you, so I'm going to go ahead and...
Now I would like to make clear as well with this class that I'm doing, um, just really try and enjoy it. These are times when we're taking these breaks in our day to just kind of forget about the problems in the world and selfishly focus on ourselves, which I think is kind of important. So yeah, just enjoy it and um, obviously you might have disruptions because everyone will be home, but if you can find as much space as possible and just really tune in, it's really helpful. Um, but. For slow tondus, we'll start in first position and we'll prepare our arms to second. We'll go tondu front and in, close, in and in. Side and first and in and in. Derriere and close and in and in. Full round to the back, balance in coup de pied, three and first. Repeat back and close, tondu in, tondu in. Side, close, first, and in, and in. Front, close, first, and in, and in. Full rond de jambe à terre, on the floor, coup de pied. Now here we'll have a little bit more music to hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll stop the music and we can try on the left side. I will do it again with you and I'm already really hot. Here we go. First position. And turn to front, close in, accent in, and in and out, close in. Keep track of your supporting arm. And fold, round the shoulder, coup de pied, test your balance, and out, close and in, and side, close and in. Now for our slightly quicker tondus, um, we'll start in fifth position. <clears throat> we'll do tondu out and out. And the third one is a glissé, so it's slightly off the floor and we enveloppe into the coup de pied and plié. 
Repeat this front side back, so side and two, and the third one slightly off the floor, on the pain, plie, and we'll go out and two, and slightly off the floor, on the play, plie, and coup de pied, balance, two, three, four, out and two, and on the pied, in, plie, out and two, and on the pied, in, plie, out and in, and on the pied, in, plie, take a coup de pied, this time we'll rise because I have a little bit more music on the reverse and we'll try and balance two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and we'll suit a new round to the other side and I'll start the music again. <clears throat> ah. And my star. Exercise I love to call the penguin step. You don't actually want to be like a penguin, but it's inevitable that after doing it time and time again, you might look like a penguin. So if we start facing the bar or your radiator or your oven or your microwave door, I don't know, whatever you've chosen, and we'll take eight glissés with our right leg, eight glissés with our left leg, and then we'll half it to four with our right, four with our left, two with our right, two with our left, one, one, plié. So we'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, one, plie. Good maths for us all as well. Although our stances are amazing at maths anyway. And um, here we go. Instead of doing it facing the bar, we'll change it so that we've got one hand on the bar so that we're not only changing things up but changing where our weight placement will be and um, yeah, it'll be the same music because uh, I have a limited CD supply. We'll start with fifth position with our right foot in front and we'll take four glissés to the side, doing our arms as well for a forward first port de bras. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and then pique front and pique side, we'll reverse this, one, two, three, 
four, PK back and PK side. That's what I like to section as the first bit. And then the second section of this exercise will PK front and PK back and PK side. Coup de pied, coup de pied, PK back, PK front, PK side, coup de pied, coup de pied. And that's it. So it's split into two sections and I'll do it all with you. So there's a facial monitor in front of you and we've got this. Same music. And it's nice and sunny here. And one, two, three, four, PK front, PK side. And one, two, three, four, PK back, PK side, PK front, inside leg, back, outside leg, coup de pied, coup de pied, outside, inside, side, and PK. <laughs> And left side, here we go. And one, two, three, front, pick in front, and side. One, two, three, four, pick in back, pick in side, center section, pick in front, inside back, and side. Cue the pier, cue the pier, and back. Inside front, and side, and feet, and... <sighs> the next exercise will be Ronde de Jambe on l'air. Um, so we'll start in fifth position. We'll bring our legs up to a retiré through the front, and we'll transfer over to the side and down through the back into a plié. And then reverse this, we go up the back, around the side of the leg, and down the front. Now be careful with this, that you don't, you want to keep your toes on the ankle and as you go up, transfer it to your heel so you don't get a sickle with your toe on your ankle. So although you are pointing your foot, you're still thinking of your toes, but be careful you don't lick up when we reverse it with your um, toes on your ankles. Um, so whilst our legs are doing, plie and retire it up over to the side and plie down and plie to retire and plie stretch your arms we help you out by going through second up to fifth and plie and one and plie we'll then take a quarter rond de jambe to first position we'll then take one half rond de jambe we'll then take two halves one Two, and on our third one, we'll cross front, coup de pied, derrière, and we'll continue with two rond de jambes. And on our third one now, we'll go all the way up to grand back on height, retire, and arabesque with the arms and legs. Reverse this whole sequence. One, and plie, and one, and plie. Quarter rond de jambe. Close to first, and half, two slightly quicker, one, and two, and arabesque, coup de pied devant, and two, slightly quicker, and full height arabesque, first with the arms, retire with the legs, and front. Now here, we'll take a forward pour de bras with our arms in fifth, releasing all the way up. And on count seven and eight, we'll take a pulse with the feet, where we literally just lift the heels off. This is a great way to check where your weight placement might have gone. If you find as soon as you lift your heels, your shoulders go back, it tends to mean that the whole of that exercise would have been gripping the bar being back. So it's a great way without the bar to just literally really carefully, it's not about going on relevé, it's just lifting the heels off to test that all your weight is on one point of your foot. We'll then also do this to the back, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Now side, slightly different. We just basically take four counts to go to one side, the other four to go to the other. We then take the remainder of the music now to suit me the legs and balance. See if you can, if you're feeling adventurous today, <laughs> I am. 
feeling optimistic, try and see if you can bring this leg up to a retiro imbalance. Be careful if you do this, again, not to have your arms and fifth to fall back, it will just hinder everything. If you put your arms and fifth slightly forwards, as he sets falling back, it should adjust your weight. You should be able to see your arms and fifth in front of you. The moment you've lost that eyesight, yes, it is above you, but it's going to bring your weight back inevitably when we do exercise in the centre. Not that I'll be doing any today, but just for reference. I'm, ah, gosh, I even chat like on the camera. Um, chat too much, don't I? Right, let's do this. And and breathe and plie retire and up plie and quarter on the jump close to first and half two quicker one two and front coup de pied derrière and two and full height. And reverse. See if you can reach. Play with the dynamics of the music. And quarter. One to jump. And half. And one. Two. Just off the floor. Can you repeat one? And one. Two. With the arms. Good. <laughs> forward, forward, prop. Pulses, seven, eight, and derriere, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four cuts to the side, and four to the other side. Slide in front of you. Rutiere. Sutanu, left side. <laughs> or not. <laughs> That's every teacher's nightmare. Okay, now we'll do the left side. <laughs> and. Now for Batman Frappe. Now bear with me, the music sounds absolutely crazy, but honestly, we'll go through it, not on it. Um, 
That sounds so weird. I don't know how to talk it on a camera. Um, so we'll start in fifth position and we'll take our working leg, so our right leg on this case, up to a QDP. We'll go back front, back front, back front, back front, front back, front back, front back, front back. This motion that we've tried slightly more static will then continuously do it for four counts, two, three, and on the fourth we'll place our, our right foot devant and then we'll repeat one, two, three, derriere. So all that again, even though you can rewind, I'm going to do it. Um, starting in front, back front, back front, back front, back front, front back, front back, front back, front back. Continuous, two, three, four, continuous, two, three, four. Now after we've done that, we'll do what we call on the quad, so in every position, double frappe front, side, back, side, and then we'll do back, side, front, side, like so. Double front, double back, <laughs> double side, double back, double side, double back, double side, double front, double side. So when I say double, it's the action that we've been practicing. So when we're doing front, we go back, front, 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 back, side, front, back, back, and back, front, side, front, back, 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 front, side, back, front, 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 back, side. Then finally, we'll just transfer coup de pied, coup de pied, out, coup de pied, coup de pied, out, on to your one rond de jambe, two rond de jambe, and then the third, a double rond de jambe, and we'll suit in and try it all to the left side. Now be careful with the, on the transfer of these, you almost want to keep your hips at the same height because it's so quick, you start bobbing around, and um, although it looks really cool, it's going to it's going to be much harder for you, whereas if you keep it almost like your hips are square, you could be doing like dun dun for the centre. Um, so yeah, it's a good practice to isolate parts of your legs. Again, talking too much, talking way too much. Here we go. Let's give this a go. That one frappe. Maestro. And... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, maestro, frappe, and up to good pier, back front, back front, back front, back front, front back, front back, front back, front back, continuous, two, three, front, continuous, two, three, back and front, side, back, side, back, side, front, side, one, and two, Two, three, and front, back front, back front, back front, front back, front back, front back, front back, continuous, two, three, front, continuous, two, three, back and front, side, back, side, back, side, front, side, and move, and front, on the shot. Okay, please bear with my own technique on that. It's really hard to speak and do and think. So yeah, be really precise with your, and maybe take a pause in each side if you're gonna look like me on the left side, but I'm um, just trying to get this done before my memory card runs out. Um, now for fondues, um, slightly calmer, get my heart rate back down. It's really simple, but it's hard. Um, um, Bello. So we'll go, Fondue to the front. Keep it exactly on the same height. This isn't going full yet. And take it to the side. We'll take one rond de jambe, two rond de jambe, and on the third, double. And close. We'll repeat this back. And we'll keep it where it is. And try and rotate it as soon as you can. And go one rond de jambe, two rond de jambe, third is a double. Now repeat this all if you would like with your legs on releve and your, your working leg higher, if you'd like to keep it exactly how you've done it the first time, to basically keep your body in good shape and not push it, then that's absolutely fine, but I don't need to push. So yes, um, try this 
front to side, carry side, single on the jump, single on the jump, double and close and back, carry. Now here on the on the front, because of the anatomy of the body, it's easy to keep it where it is for longer. Be careful when you go to back not to replicate that because if you keep your leg where it is on the back for too long, then you get this lovely second. Um, no, so if you think on the back to actually do the opposite, think as soon as you clear to turn that out and go into the reverse on the don, uh, on the don, on the don, on the don. So let's give this a go. Final exercise on the bar will be Grand Batman. So we'll start with our arms in second and we'll prepare to go up to fifth. We'll take two Grand Batmans devant and closing in and two. Retirate close. On the second one, change your arms to second. So both retirates are changing back and front. And two Grand Batman side and two. Closing back and back to fifth. So we're back with the same leg in front as the beginning. We'll then take on qua, which means in every position, front, side and back, just a single grand back one. So grand back one front, grand back one side, grand back one back, and tondu, cloche, two, three, and repeat all the reverse. Now a note to say is, luckily I have enough space to the side of me, but if you're in your kitchen or something, absolutely adapt it so that on side maybe you change so that you're not hitting something because obviously I don't really want to get sued. Really? Not now. Not ever, actually. So from back we'll do um, two gone back ones and our retirees um, stay on the first one, on the second one change your arms, but both retirees of your legs are changing all the time. And then side is the same, one, two, retire and back to arabesque, you are en croix, side and front. Tondu front, cross back, cross front, plie, soutenu, other side. I'll be doing it with you, if you're even doing it. I hope you're doing it because I'm really tired. <laughs> no, let's do this. Uh, maestro. Go on, back on. Ah! Uh -huh. 
this far. I'm sorry if a few mistakes have dabbled in but I just wanted to help as much as I possibly could in my scenario so I thought that why not do this to anyone that would like to watch it so feel free to take snippets and do it as much as you like and um, obviously I feel obliged to say um, to really take care in this time. I think that obviously as dancers we want to keep fit and keep doing stuff but I think be really careful sometimes take the time to actually rest um, don't be doing silly stuff in small spaces like centre exercises, tour and layers, jumps. Um, I personally don't have a sprung floor in my house so I wouldn't really be clever. But there are little maintenance stuff like bar and core exercises and stuff that we can do to maintain our brain ticking as well, which is really important. Obviously there are also exercises to help with the stability of the ankle, which a lot of injuries can creep in. And they're really easy, you don't need space, such as calf rises. Um, on both legs, you can isolate them. You can bend the leg to get the soleus bit of the calf muscle, which is the outside. And what you do there is you take your weight forward and back. You almost keep your hips square. And after 10, 12 of these, you'll feel your soleus really burning. Um, but with a, with a straight leg, you'll get your normal calf muscle. Um, but yeah, take care and thank you so much for watching and um, stay tuned because if you like it, I'm more than happy to do much, much more of these. I'm sure I'll have the time. Thank you.